Sticking with the Ford government, the province is staking more of its cash to help fund Canada's largest gene and cell therapy manufacturing facility right here in Hamilton. The announcement was made at McMaster Innovation Park, where it'll be built, ensuring the country has domestic production. Jason Guidola has details. We will stamp Made in Ontario on those products. A $580 million facility producing medicine to help fight off cancer and other diseases is coming to Hamilton. It secures the biomanufacturing capacity in Ontario, building on all the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. During an announcement at McMaster Innovation Park this afternoon, Trade Minister Vic Fideli says the Ford government is shoring up an additional $40 million to help Omnia Bio, a gene and cell therapy manufacturing operator, construct two buildings in the complex, Omnia Bio A and B. Reinvigorating Ontario's life sciences sector is a key part of shoring up our domestic production of critical supplies. We're at the back parking lot of the McMaster Automotive Resource Center just off of Longwood Road and right behind me is going to be the future site of the Omnio Bio B facility slated to be completed in the summer of 2024. This type of therapy is when doctors remove cells from a patient, retrain them so they can be put back into the patient to target cancer cells. The new facility will provide space for companies who aim to produce on a commercial scale, allowing them to focus on research and trials. I mean, this is a factory. It's not, uh, it's not a, a research lab. It's not clinical stage activity. So when you think of how you industrialize, how you go to that next scale, Hamilton is the perfect location. Omnia Bio Chair Michael May says the manufacturing site will have the capacity to produce thousands of patient-specific doses. Cell and gene therapy is medicine of the future. I mean, there are products here today, but it's, it's the future. We want to make certain that we uh, anchor this uh, innovation uh, with the right strategy towards manufacturing. The project is expected to create at least 250 new jobs by 2031. I asked uh, Omnia Bio Chair uh, Michael May if the facility will have the capabilities to pr produce vaccines, and he says it could, as the building is intended to support all kinds of biomanufacturing products. The second building is slated to be completed in 2025.